Okay, day four. Right? Okay. So today <laughs> we made <laughs> day four, four kilos more. <laughs> for, for eight pounds. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to um, Quintarelli, then lunch, then we're going to Bertani, and then we're going to do tasting of a San Felice wine in uh, Agriturismo Morandini. <laughs> okay, okay, andiamo. Today I'm your uh, your guide. I'm sorry, my English I know that is not perfect, so if you don't understand something, <laughs> okay, um, I don't, don't worry. You can uh, ask me to to repeat and uh, I repeat for you. So today uh, we are going to first of all uh, to in a winery, winery of Quintarelli, and. Um, the, at the second stop we are going uh, to have lunch in a restaurant and uh, the last stop is the other uh, winery Villa uh, Mosconi Bertani okay we are in Valpolicella Classica Classica means uh, the historical and original place where uh, the, all the line of uh, Valpolicella wines was born so today we are, uh, you are going to try all the line of Valpolicella wines. So um, Valpolicella Classico, Superiore, Ribasso, Ricciotto, that it is our sweet wine, and of course Amarone, that it is the, the king of the Valpolicella. Ok, Quintarelli. Okay, ready for Quintarelli? Let's see the view over here. Hmm? This is crazy. Like a postcard. It's beautiful, right? Right? Exactly. As you can see, we are in the hills. Yeah, the mountain, and then you have all the, the Valpolicella area and the Amarone area. Vieni un po' più avanti. Sì. Mi fai un video di sopra. Ok. Con i vigneti qua sotto. E loro hanno detto che tutti i soldi che loro spendono su Quintanelli dice, hanno investito un po' <laughs> sull'azienda. Sulla <laughs> Comprano un sacco di Quintanelli. Ah, voi, ma voi eh, siete, siete Pagus? Sì, sì, esatto. Sì. Siamo Però il capo guida. No, io abbiamo un ristorante, abbiamo anche Quintanelli, abbiamo ah. tutto. Okay. So we have 11 hectares in total. Uh, three are here. Just the, the, the slope mm -hmm. until the, the road and the bush over there. So you see the pergola veronese, which is the local way of growing the corvina, corvina, marinella, the great uh, marone, ciotto, valcolicella. And then we have some guyot as well downstairs. Uh, mm -hmm. Cabernet, Merlot, Serrano, international varieties. So the pergola mm -hmm. and the guyot is a simple mm -hmm. yep. line. Three hectares in Negra. Negra is that village over there. And eight hectares on the other side <coughs> of, the, of the valley. Uh, on the Marano, other side, right? Marano, Vagata, San Giorgio. Small places in Plasco de Tricella area. But all the grapes come here for the for the drying up there. Mm -hmm. uh, where the four windows are on the top of the house. Okay. There's a big room with the mats and the cases. And that's where you dry? We dry from right. September to January. Oh, okay. Four months to get the uh, concentration and right. from around. Okay. And, and we did uh, a lot of renovation in the last four years, so you see quite uh, new yep. all, the, all the building inside, outside. And the terrace too, right? The terrace. Yeah. It used to, be, used to be a parking. 
Yeah, so we, nice. we did the new insulation and flowers for the mother, and then the button is there now. Very nice. nice. Let me see. Is that a church over there with the crosses? Uh, no, no, but not a church. It's just a church. Uh -huh. and then this place, this, this area is full of religious symbols. So you can see churches. Yeah. It's about 12,000 liters. Slavonian, Slavonian oak. The birth year of uh, Giuseppe, when he was born, and his name, right. and the values of the family, so religion and the work, the great Bruno. Mm -hmm. Those babies are the daughters they have Listen, listen, listen. So we have plenty of time. Those are the oldest girls. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. We have older. Older. I'll, I'll show you later. This, this is me. Yeah. 35 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So the grandmother and the four daughters. Okay. And the round is a common Must have been very different, yeah. Very. So these are some of the older bottles that the grandfather used to wrap them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had. Well, yeah. This was the method to protect yeah. from, from dust and light. Uh, this gentleman yeah. over here, he still has some of them that we bought from Shadow and back back the newspaper. Yeah. And these are on the side of the wall. Okay, guys, very, very let's go down. Yeah. 60s and 70s. Uh huh. Eccole qua. Eh? Questa, questa è una delle classiche. Wow. Mm -hmm. The first copies were handwritten by a friend of Giuseppe, which was a chef in a restaurant in Verona, mm -hmm. and later by a daughter of him. Those are handwritten, yeah? The chef and then the daughter of him. Wow. And then printed the copies. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we taste the sunrise now. So simple yet. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, no, I didn't see it in there. I haven't seen it in the store. There's a store near us, Bottle Camp. They buy a lot of this one. This is the flavors of the Okay, so I guess uh, you guys couldn't get to Quinder Alley and I had to bribe some people. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just yeah, had to. But you got the bottle of olive oil that he gave us. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you so, Turco the plate. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So now we're going to uh, La Ruota. It's um, a nice little restaurant over here. Uh, we have a quick lunch, okay? And then we're gonna go to Bertani, all right? What time are we supposed to be at Bertani? Uh, three o'clock, okay. Three o'clock yeah. Bertani? Four o'clock. Oh, four o'clock. Okay, guys. Trattoria La Ruota. Make sure you bring the Quindarelli wine with you. <laughs> okay, so. I'm taking a view. I'm taking a view, it's right. Just come in over here. All right. Beautiful view. Nice table. Beautiful table. Beautiful table. Mm -hmm. Good structure. Uh, when you work so hard, you can retire any places. <laughs> any places. This is the view. And. Trattoria La Ruota. Cari. Very beautiful. Very beautiful.
mangiare l'uva. Allora, contadini, cazzati. <laughs> oh, so basically, let, let, me, let me explain what he's saying. Let me explain what he's saying. He, he said that before, you know, the, all the Amarone was growing with the, with the roof, right? Okay. But now they're changing to the small plants. And uh, all the wild boars are going to kill the vineyards. Ah, so yeah. then they, they're hunting. Pum! That's great. <laughs> Pum! And they sh they're shooting. <laughs> With the Amarone. That's right. great. <laughs> wild boar tastes like Amarone, right? right. Wild boar and Amarone. <laughs> they all taste like Amarone. Yeah, they're eating all the lips. Very well together. They're only good in red. Day number one. Day number four. Day number four. Uh, we have lunch at uh, La Ruota restaurant uh, and it's in, uh, yeah. on the beautiful terrace of the Policella. Salute! Until the next time. Until the next time. Until the next time. Four hours from now. <laughs>